Greetings and blessings, dear friends in the spirit 111. It's Eddie Luisi. How are you? How was your week? I had a really busy, interesting week, me and my family, and maybe later I'll share a little snippets of that. Um, I'm calling today's theme, Being the Kind Who Are Kind. Hmm. You'll find out why I mentioned that. Um, my dear friend and fellow worker, Good Morning America, Adrian Bankhart, has a new book out. Actually, she told me about this book a long time ago, and I ordered it on Amazon, and it just came in the mail yesterday. It actually came in a big box with dog food. It was hidden under the dog food. <laughs> but uh, I finally got it. Um, Adrian is a dear friend, uh, a friend in the spirit, a great soul. And she told me that um, in the book, she mentioned a little snippet on me. So if you get the book, the end of chapter two is me. But I'm actually going to read a little snippets right now. Um, but it would still be nice if you get the book, right? So in her first chapter, Kindness 2.0, I'm going to read a little bit. There is an unbeatable superpower inside every one of us that is far greater than talent or tenacity. It supersedes strength and intelligence. It crushes selfishness, negativity, and doubt. It will bring you to 100% authenticity, develop unfailing integrity, and help you build trust with anyone. It's something that every individual and every corporation needs more of today. Our world, companies, and communities are asking for something more of us than simply getting the job done. The ask right now is for people who know how to be kind under pressure. This is about more than merely getting along with people. Your hidden superpower, kindness, reveals the highest and best version of you. I work in live TV, so there's a lot of pressure in that, huh? Um, I'm going to skip a couple paragraphs. Kindness added to any endeavor is a magnet for positivity and a cure for the inevitable side effects of stress. Kindness is an anchor to the soul and the universal language of hope for the billions on the planet searching for meaning. Kindness is inclusive. Kindness displays unity. Kindness is beneficial for all and is mandatory for those who are seeking true success, no matter the goal. Kindness is the gateway to new relationships and opportunities. Kindness is what the world needs now more than ever. What the world needs now is kindness, kindness, kindness. That was an ad lib. Okay, I am going to skip to the end of chapter two. This is where I am. Boom, 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 boom. The little heading. You make the day better. I make it a practice to send thank you cards, emails, or DMs. I also know the everlasting power of a handwritten note, reminding people of how grateful I am they were kind to others. In the spirit of gratitude, one recipient responded with a note that said, you make the day better. I think that's about the best thing you can hear someone say about you. When someone comes alongside us to help us make it through the day, there is hope. People beside us in the next cubicle or the next door to us give us a sign that it is a good day and everything is going to be all right. Like one of our longtime stage directors at Good Morning America, Eddie. Ha, that's me. Eddie has tattoos down both his arms. I do. I do, I do, I do. One forearm reads forgiven and the other reads blessed. So that when he points to your camera, you are faced with those words. Robin Roberts used to say that all the time. He is always laughing and smiling even when he is tired. And I'm tired a lot when I get up 2.45 a.m. 
Even when he is tired, he remains upbeat. One day he seemed a little deflated. <laughs> he still made the time to ask me, how are you today? Amazing, I said enthusiastically, hoping to boost his spirits. His priceless response was a song as he belted out, Amazing Adrian, how sweet the sound. To the tune of the song Amazing Grace, he made me feel like a million bucks. I will never look at that song the same way again. Eddie, you make the day better. Here's to you and all the other superstars who help others shine brightly, exhibiting encouragement every day by being the kind who are kind. Thank you, Adrian. Thank you for the mention. Thank you for your friendship. Thank you for being kind. And thank you for giving my theme for this talk today, being the kind who are kind. I would like to read from Daily Practice Sacred Reading and Meditation, One Spirit Learning Alliance. I have on my office door these words from an accomplished Indian yogi. Before speaking, consider whether it is an improvement upon silence. His words remind me that when we do speak, we must speak truth. Even more important, because truth so often eludes us, we must speak in kindness. In fact, we might amend the yogi's saying to read, before speaking, consider whether you speak out of love. If we could learn always to speak out of love, we could change everything. And that is received from Philip Simon's Learning to Fall. I would like to read from Science of Mind. Living in Uncertain Times. From Philo Judius, be kind for everyone you meet is fighting a great battle. And from a book called This Thing Called Life. The law of life is like a mirror. It reflects back to you the images of your thought in exactly the way you think them. Think good thoughts. Two men are going for an evening walk One when one points to a small hut and says the man who lives there has forsaken the world and lives only to find God. His friend thinks for a while and responds that he will only find God when he returns to the war, world and shares in everyone's joys and sorrows. Living our life isn't a barrier to spiritual growth. It is the path on which it happens. The true test of our spirituality is how we live our daily life. Life is synonymous with change. People are born and people die. That is the cycle of life. Our life can change on a dime. How we adjust, how we face emergencies are all opportunities for growth. Security is an illusion. The more we try to hold on, the more we live in fear. We really live when we allow our life to unfold. So often when bad times pass, we realize they help make us what we have become. We feel the pain and move beyond it to greater opportunities. Ask yourself when a difficult time in your life turned out to be a gift. Each of us can recount these times. As Eckhart Tolle writes, when you become comfortable with uncertainty, infinite possibilities open up in your life. The affirmation, in this moment, I remember my life is my path. I move, I move forward knowing that all I experience can bring me close to spirit. I am open to myself, accepting what is and remembering all is good because all is God. And uh, you probably heard this before, God spelled backward is dog, D-O-G, and Dogs are always loving, always kind, right? Always smiling, always wagging their tail. If I had a tail, I would wag it too, but I don't have a tail. Besides, <laughs> I don't think so. This is received from Neil Donald Walsh, Conversations with God. On this day of your life, I believe God wants you to know that helping family is the greatest joy. 
Let no family member go without or be in real need if you have what they lack. Share of your abundance even if you think you are not abundant. I like that. Share what little you think you have. What else is the point of having something if you don't share it? To use it for yourself and yourself alone? Would that be the point? I don't think so. In fact, that would miss the point of all of life. And while we are thinking of family, could we think of all people as members of our family? Now, there's a thought that would change the world overnight. Love your friend, Neil Donald Walsh. And think of all people as members of your family. Huh? We could have a whole conversation, Black Lives Matter, right? Love, kindness, equality, acceptance. Think of all people as our family. We are all friends in the spirit. We're all children of God. This is received from Three Minutes a Day, the Christophers. The gift wrap and the jewel. At age 92, Wanda Goins read her poem about aging, the gift wrap and the jewel, in a video that went viral. Here is the poem. I looked in the mirror and what did I see? But a little old lady peer peering back at me with bags and sags and wrinkles and wispy white hair. And I asked my reflection, how did you get there? You once were straight and vigorous, and now you're stooped and weak. When I tried so hard to keep you from becoming an antique. My reflection's eyes twinkled as she solemnly replied, you're looking at the gift wrapped and not the jewel inside. A living gem and precious of unimagined worth. Unique and true, the real you, the only you on earth. The years to spoil your gift wrap with other things more cruel should purify and strengthen and polish up that jewel. So focus your intention on the inside, not the out. On being kinder wiser, more content, and more devout. Then when your gift wrap stripped away, your jewel will be set free to radiate God's glory throughout eternity. And from 1 Peter 3, 4, let your adornment be the inner self with the lasting beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit. And the prayer, Father, may I always polish my inner jewels of kindness, faith, and wisdom. This is a beautiful, beautiful poem. Um, I'm talking about an older woman, 92 years old, and, and her outside, but look in the inside. How about thinking the same way for Black Lives Matter, right? Stop looking at the color. Look at the jewel that's inside, right? We are all spiritual beings having human experiences, right? Not human beings having spiritual experience. We're all spiritual beings. We're all connected. Get rid of that prejudice. Get rid of that inequality. Be loving. Be kind. Be compassionate. Be giving. Be thoughtful. I have something that um, I'm going to show. I don't know if I'm going to show next week or whatever, but... Joel Osteen and Victoria had something called A Thousand Times More, which was, you know, a reflection. And I took that. I have it right over there, but I'm not going to show it to you yet. But I put on a piece of paper, A Thousand Times More, and then I put all different words there. And each day when a new word comes in, I throw it in. So I think, I don't know if next week or the week after, I'm going to share that with you. And then I'll send it out and you could edit it yourself and whatever words help you a thousand times more. Um, you can make your own word document, whatever, and take out ones or add ones. You could send me new words. But um, today is a thousand times more kindness. Okay, so I am going to read from Joel and Victoria Osteen, like I always end with. 
do good. Today's scripture is taken from Acts 10, 38. Even Jesus of Nazareth, how God anointed him with the Holy Spirit and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. We could talk about the devil another story, but I'm, I'm reading, right? And I'm open to all different things. The first thing Jesus did before healing, before ministering, before delivering, is that he was good to people. Think about that for a moment. We all have an assignment. You could say that we all have a ministry. We may not be up in, up in front of people. It may not go overseas, and we may not be going... We may not go overseas or be a missionary. Our ministry starts by being good to people. When goodness flows out of our hearts, it catches people's attention. It causes them to want to know more about what we have. We can say all day long, I love you. But true love is seen in what we do. If I really love you, I'll be good to you. I'll prefer you. God said to Abraham, I will bless you and you will be a blessing. One key to being blessed is, are you willing to be a blessing? Are you willing to do good? Are you willing to be kind? Prayer for today. Father God, I love you and I praise you for all you have done in my life. Today I ask that you empower me to do good. Help me to be more aware of the people and needs around me. My desire is to love others and have you love as you have loved me. Use me to be a blessing and a testimony of your goodness so that others may come to know you in Jesus' name. Amen. And the wake-up thought. This morning, look around at who's in your life. Listen to what they're saying. You can't help everyone, but you can help someone. There are people whom God has put in your path who are connected to your destiny. You can lift the fallen. You can restore the broken. You can be kind to a stranger. As you help them rise higher, you will rise higher. As you meet their needs, God will meet your needs. This was perfect, huh? And you know, dear friends in the spirit, I didn't have this talk planned at all. Like I said, I had such a busy week. So many things were happening in my life, my family's life. And I got up today and, and, I, and I knew I wanted to do something with Adrian. I didn't know when I wanted to do it. But then an old friend who used to work with me at GMA 20 years ago, um, saw my, my post with the picture. I said, Eddie, do you remember me? I used to work. Um, I said, sure, I remember you. And it just was an affirmation, right? It was a God wink that, yeah, I need to talk about this today. Um, and I try to tie it in with Black Lives Matter. As you know, this past week, my two daughters went to a, a peaceful protest here in Stony Point. And it was... It was um, initiated, created, it was uh, started by North Rock and Drama Society alum, um, graduates of Livia's age, and it was absolutely beautiful. And all the, all the students that were part of the Drama Society shared, um, one of the teachers shared, a, a politician shared. Um, I sat in my car kind of following them um, just in case anything bad happened, but nothing bad happened. Um, but the girls didn't want me there. They wanted to be alone. So God bless them. They needed to experience that themselves. I think that was on Monday, Sunday or Monday. And then Wednesday, I went to a peaceful protest organized by the Good News Association, Pastor Ed. And I kind of stood in, in the outskirts. I had my mask on. I was a good 10 feet away and um, started out with prayer by a, the Clarkstown Police Station, which was really a cool place to start. We went on our knees for eight minutes, 46 seconds. And then we marched and chanted through New City, all this in Rockland County, and ended up at the court, the courthouse. So it's really interesting how Pastor Ed and his team organized that from the police station to the courthouse. And um, 
some beautiful Christian songs, some chanting, some talks. It was a wonderful experience, so thank you for inviting me. Um, coronavirus is still around, folks, so please be safe, right? Keep your distance. I know there are a lot of stores open. Um, my one daughter is starting a job locally, so we're, we're nervous, but, um, you know, she needs to do it, and we have to be open, right? Just have to be open and being safe. Um, what other things have been happening this week? I don't know. There, there have been so many different things, and I'm blessed. You know, everything hasn't been perfect. We've been having our ups and downs, and um, but I'm trying to remain kind. Um, two words that I'm trying to put into my own life, especially when things happen. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to remember with AV, right? Audiovisual AV, um, awareness, validation. I'm trying to be aware of every situation that's happening, things that are happening in my, in my life, in my family, and then to validate, to actually listen and validate. Because, you know, I'm an old stubborn guy, and a lot of times, you know, somebody says something and I have an answer. Or don't worry about this, do this. And, and it's kind of like, no, I gotta stop. I gotta be aware, I gotta listen, and I gotta validate. So, um, and I have to be kind. <laughs> and, and most of the time I am, right? Those of you who know me, most of the time I'm kind. So dear friends in the spirit, don't forget to share your faith with family and friends. Oh, a church is starting up in the Catholic Church, so Today, this Saturday, if, if you see this video Saturday, I'm doing music at um, Immaculate Conception. I'm, I usually do music at three churches. The other two churches have not contacted me yet. So I don't know, but I know I'm doing music at this church. So, um, so blessings to all that attend. Stay safe. Keep your distance. Wear your mask. Um, but cue the spirit. And don't forget, stay blessed and a blessing. Be kind. Take care.